Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a technology expert at the Human Manual. In this tutorial, we will show you how to change your Mac screensaver. The screensaver is what normally comes up when you've left your computer idle for a while. You can normally wake it up out of sleep by moving your mouse or pressing a key on your keyboard. Depending on your setup, you may even be requested for a password to get access to the computer. Click System Preferences. Click Desktop and Screensaver from within the Personal section. You will notice two tabs. Ensure the Screensaver tab is the one that is selected. On the right you have a preview of what your screensaver is currently. In the left hand sidebar you can see the different screensaver effects that you can use. You will have a slideshows and screensavers if you are using Mountain Lion. For Lion users, you will see some Apple screensaver options and the ability to use some iPhoto pictures. Go through and select the screensaver which is right for you. If you select an option within the slideshow section, you can also detail the source. You can even choose a folder of pictures stored in your computer. The final option is whether you would like to shuffle the slides in order. If you select an option within the screensaver section, you'll be able to use a message to display on a screen, and that particular message can be defined by you, like contact details if your computer has been found for example. To do this you need to click on the screensaver options button. Now enter your desired message. If you'd like to show the time whilst the screensaver is running, please click this checkbox. You can also choose when you'd like your screensaver to start. We'll explain hot corners in another tutorial. To preview any changes, hover your cursor over the preview section and then click the preview button. If you'd like your computer to request a password when waking up from screensaver mode, you'll need to click on Show All. Now click Security and Privacy from within the Personal section. Ensure the General tab is selected and then click on the tick box that says Require a password immediately or at a predetermined time. We hope by now that you're feeling a little more familiar and comfortable with your Apple Mac computer. And don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Please feel free to re-watch this video or download it for offline viewing. Please rate and provide any feedback about our video below or just email us at hello at thehumanmanualonline.com. My name is Andrew and I'm your human manual to your Apple Mac computer. Thanks for watching and bye for now.